All right. Hey, my dear P3s, are you there? If you are really there, can you clap your hands once? Clap twice and clap twice and say, Hello, Miss Ruth Nanteza. Hello, my dear children. Are you there? I'm back for the fifth lesson. Still English. And I'm still dealing with simple present tense. Or I can't call it present simple tense. To remind you, did you do the previous lesson? The activity I left behind, did you do it? Good then. If you really do, did it, give yourself a hand clap. If you didn't do it, mm, that is too bad. Next time, always do the tasks I leave with you. Okay. Hope you are still safe. You are washing your hands and you limit your movements. Since we have online lessons, stay home. Learn, do the tasks we give you so that you can better yourself. Here we are. I expect you to be good listeners and speak where need be. Read and always do the tasks we give you. Okay, let's go through the task I left behind. They were telling us to change sentences from positive to negative. And our first sentence was, that boy writes neat work. The negative sentence is, that boy does not write neat work. That's it. That boy does not write neat work. The second one was, they wash their clothes every Saturday. The negative one is, let's read together, they do not wash their clothes. Well, this every Saturday. See, baby Roy cries every night. The negative sentence is, baby Roy does not cry every night. Does not cry every night. Okay, change these sentences from negative to affirmative. When I talk about affirmative, I'm referring to positive sentences. So we had, Capella does not dart his uniform daily. So if it is in positive, we shall say, Capella darts his uniform daily. Check on the spelling of darts. Remember, that ends with Y. Before Y, there is a consonant, which is T. We drop Y for I, and then we add ES. We shall come up with the word darts. So you have to be very careful with your spellings. So you have to check on the verbs and see how they change accordingly. Okay, we had the fishermen do not catch fish. The positive sentence is the fishermen catches fish. Oh, I have a mistake in my work. Hope you've observed. It was meant to be the fishermen catches fish. Then the last one says, Alice does not brush her teeth every after a meal. The positive sentence says, Alice brushes. Check on the word brush. It ends with C. It ends in S-H. Remember such verbs add E-S when it comes to simple present tense. That's why I added E-S on my word brush to come up with brushes. So I have Alice brushes her teeth every after a meal. Whoever passed this, bravo to you. You deserve a clap and another clap and the best clap. Give it to yourself. Okay, ready now? This one was a reminder. It is going to push us to the next lesson. Still, under simple present tense, we are going to learn how to change affirmative, I mean the positive sentences, to negative. Remember, we did this. We changed these affirmative sentences to negative. And this time, we shall change to interrogative. So we shall have three sentences, the positive sentence, the negative sentence and the interrogative sentence. What do I expect? 
Oh, what do I believe you have to achieve in this lesson? One, you should be able to identify interrogative sentences. You construct them. You select them in the many. Okay. Next, you should be able to change sentences to interrogative. <laughs> this is going to be fun. I'm just ready to teach you. Ready to learn too? Let's proceed. Okay, what are interrogative sentences? I think this is the only new word here. Those ones who missed the previous lesson, that is the fourth lesson. My dear, you should bother to know what positive sentences are and what negative sentences are, okay? Remember positive, agree. They base on the truth, the reality. When it comes to negative, it is the opposite of positive. With negative, they disagree. It is a not. So, when it comes to interrogative sentences, these are questioning sentences, my dear. They are questioning. Somebody will have to ask a lot. And with these sentences, they end with a question mark because they are questioning sentences. Somebody wants to know. You need to know what happened. Yes, you need to find out the answer. So these ones are questioning and they do end with a question mark. So whichever sentence you meet and it is ending with a question mark, that one must be a questioning sentence. I have some examples here to prove whether they really do end with a question mark and they are questioning sentences. One, what is your name? Check on my face. It will really prove to you that I need the answer. What is your name? I want to know. Two, why are you crying? I need to know the reason as to why you are crying. Why are you crying? Why are you sad? Lastly, do you like oranges? I need the answer from you. Is it a yes or a no? I expect the answer. So when you check on these three examples, they are all ending in a question mark. Why? They are questioning sentences. Begin asking yourselves and the people you are seated with. Ask them some questions. Did you do my work? I know some of you did do the previous task I left with you. Did you have your breakfast? Mm -hmm. Tell me, did you brush your teeth this morning? <laughs> some of you didn't brush. So this is when you come up and you say, no, I did not brush. Yes, I brushed my teeth this morning. Mm, do you like chips and chicken? It's a question mark. It is a questioning sentence. Many to tell you. Okay. Oh, here we are now. Having known that interrogative sentences are questioning sentences and they end with a question mark, I can now proceed. So here we are. We are going to change sentences in affirmative to negative and lastly interrogative so we shall have three sentences these are the examples everybody check on my work here we are the first one reads the cow gives us milk daily what form of a sentence is that is it positive could it be negative or interrogative definitely it's positive it agrees the cow gives us milk daily it is the truth so when you come you'll find this cow providing us with milk what will the negative sentence be the cow does not give us milk daily i don't know what happened to this cow it does not give us milk daily so that one is in negative form. Then, here we are. We are going to change our 
sentence that reads, the cow gives us milk daily to interrogative. Here we should not forget our helping verbs, my dear. Remember, in the fourth lesson, I told I told you the helping verbs used in simple present tense. And I told you if you are, we are referring to one, that is one noun, one thing, or it is a pronoun, we shall have to use does. So singular nouns and singular pronouns take does. And since we want a questioning sentence, this helping verb should come first or will come first. Hope you are following me up clearly. I want to repeat for you. When it comes to interrogative sentences, we shall have to start with our helping verbs. That is does or do. We use does when it comes to singular pronouns and singular nouns. And when it comes to do, here we, ref we are referring to many pronouns and pro pronouns. So check on our sentence. The cow gives us milk daily. It is only one cow. So the helping verb is does. So my sentence will be, does the cow, does the cow give us milk daily? Question mark. I want to know whether it does or it does not. So does the cow give us milk daily? What have I ended with? A question mark because it is a questioning sentence. So those boys ride bicycles every day. Those boys ride bicycles every day. What will the negative sentence be? That is our B. Those boys do not ride bicycles every day. That's it. They do not ride bicycles every day. And here we are. We are changing to interrogative where we shall have a questioning sentence which ends with a question mark. Try it out before I give you mine. Hope you've already got your interrogative sentence. So here we shall have, we are talking about many boys, mind you. And we are going to use do. So we shall begin with a helping verb, which is do. And we shall say, do those boys ride bicycles every day? I want to know. I'm asking, do those boys ride bicycles every day? Tell me. Okay, three. Sam hurries to school every morning. Say it again. Sam hurries to school every morning. What will the negative sentence be? With a negative, remember, we shall have a not. So here we are. Sam does not hurry to school every morning. That's the reality. Sam does not hurry to school every morning. What will that interrogative sentence be? Remember, this one is a questioning sentence. Form a question out of this. We are talking about some. Some is only one. And we shall use does. That's when we shall say, does some hurry to school every morning? I want to find out. Maybe I'm the mother to Sam, and I need to know whether my son hurries to school every morning. So, does Sam hurry to school every morning? Question mark. Remember, at first we had hurries, and here we are changing to hurry. We shall have to drop our I, and in the place of I, that's when we shall bring back our why the best form? Good. Hope you've been following up this. It has been so interesting. Personally, I've enjoyed it. I can now construct many sentences in interrogative form because I've known interrogative sentences and with a question mark. They are questioning sentences. Now you can begin asking some questions to the people who are seated near you, your siblings, your parents, 
but be very careful don't ask Hmm? Where you are not supposed to ask, my dear, you should have limits. But feel free, ask. Somebody will respond to you. It can be a positive sentence answer or a negative answer. But you will know the answer to your question. My dear ones, I have an activity for you. This one is the simplest of all. Mm -hmm. I want you to change these sentences from affirmative to negative and lastly interrogative that means you'll have two two sentences on each number i've already given you the positive so i expect you to find out the negative to write the negative sentence and then the interrogative one i usually do my homework so b will be negative c will be the interrogative sentence don't forget to punctuate because your work will be marked wrong. Always remember to punctuate and correctly after finding out what is needed at the end of that sentence. Uh -huh. That cat cares for its kittens. Three, we pay water bills weekly. Lastly, Chikopo marries every year. Is that too hard? Two, two sentences on each, a negative sentence and the interrogative sentence. Trust me, you are going to enjoy this activity. And after doing it, show it to mommy or daddy. She or he will enjoy reading this because it will be so interesting. And you check on the look of daddy. You look at his face and see whether that interrogative sentence will really be a questioning sentence okay stay tuned i love you so much please always be neat and love your work let's meet again